Hello everyone. Are you ready for Gratsky? Will you be purchasing her? Have you purchased her? Let me know. All right, ahoy, captains of digital pixelated warships. <laughs> I am the Stig, and today something spicy is going to happen. As I mute myself because I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, we, I guess as a team, will be purchasing the Admiral Graf Spee, and uh, we're going to see what happens. I am massively terrified. <laughs> um, for those of you who do not know about this ship, um, we're, <laughs> we're going to have a little learning lesson, but it's a little intimidating, um, especially for what she does, how you're supposed to play her. Um, but we're going to do a little live review here and do a little captain setup, see what happens, um, you know, to help out, to see if you want to buy the ship. If you think the ship is dumb and ridiculous and overpriced, like many people, or, uh, you know, you're just genuinely curious. Um, no one does live reviews. Um, I figured why not? I could definitely fall on my face, but um, it'd be interesting, right? Change it up. So, also, I apologize right off the bat. I have my blue Yeti, but I forgot to buy a pop filter, and the laundry is going. <laughs> and for how sensitive it is, I am definitely not using it right now. So, I'm going to have to put the little kibosh on that, and we'll be using it for future use. But let's get started, because the butterflies are killing me. <laughs> I listened to myself and thankfully did not buy the most expensive package for 19900 And for those of you who don't know, just look how beautiful it is. You get all this fun stuff. You get the, uh, the nice little commemorative flag there to stand out. You get a little two million, three German crates, one commander crate. Um, you know, and you get the 45 rare flags of each booster. Definitely worth your while. Unfortunately, it's about $70 US. <laughs> um, it's a little expensive. Um, the next you have the 14,500 package. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot less. You still get a bunch of good stuff, don't get me wrong, especially the flags. They're only common, but um, I would say if you're going to spend the money, it's definitely worth the time to get um, the time and money to purchase the 19,900 package. Um, I was safe, <laughs> and as you can see above, I just purchased uh, purchased the 11,500 doubloon pack. So, we'll be purchasing that right now. Bam. Ooh. Bundle purchased. Beautiful. There we go. So, we got her. The Admiral Graf Spee. Beautiful. Well, let's try her out here. Let's get stuff set up. What am I doing? See? And if you can't hear in the background, the uh, <laughs> the laundry's going. Okay. So that's why, like I said, we're not using the blue Yeti because we don't <laughs> want everything picked up. Um, okay. So there you go. There's your little... Uh, haven't done anything with it. This is definitely uh, <laughs> new for you and me, um, which can easily make or break me as a player. So, uh, you know. But no commander. Let's see here. Assigned commander. Unfortunately, for proof, this is all I have. So it's either going to be Hipper or Sheer. <sighs> and the pickle is with Graf Spee. She's a cruiser with battleship guns. Many of you know this information, but we're just going to repeat it a little bit, and I'll go into some details and some facts, you know, throughout the video here. But she is a cruiser, and you have to play her as a cruiser. I don't care that she's got battleship guns. 
I don't care if she's got two Sharn Horse guns. I don't care if they're 11 inches. You gotta be safe. I mean, you are literally, uh, what is this? Um, let's use an analogy. An Aoba captain in like tier seven. That's what she is, essentially, okay? Um, you have to be very careful. However, against cruisers, you're a damn nightmare, <laughs> to say the least. Um, you are definitely terrifying. The problem is, especially in World of Warships Legends, even though I love this game, they do not show the armor charts. Um, so um, during the review of the ship on PC, which is definitely different, um, for example, there's the Cleveland class that I think No Zoop for You talked about, um, where if you go head to head, if you bow tank, um, I believe the Cleveland can actually penetrate your uh, your forward armor. Um, and uh, it's a little terrifying. Um, the only other problem with this is being a cruiser, for how big your shells are, you can overpen. And that can be <laughs> not very good sometimes. So this ship is a very specific type of play style. And I cannot stress anymore, which I'm lying because I will stress it over and over and over again, you have to play as a cruiser. You must play as a cruiser, okay? So with that, we're going to check out Hipper first just because he's the highest, you know, and we'll see what happens with him. And then we'll go check out Sheer. Um, unfortunately, actually, I'm going to go back real quick here. I'm going to see your default um, stats just so we can um, see without anything. I don't have any of the modules chosen yet, so we'll, we'll do that after we choose Commander here. But um, survivability is insanely high. Um, right off the bat, I believe she's the highest tier, um, or the highest uh, hit points out of all tiers. Well, for tier 5 cruisers. Um, artillery, that everybody complains about. You have 20 second reload time, um, which is terrible for a cruiser. But when you have Sharn Horst guns, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. um, firing range is actually pretty good, 15.5. Um, I believe that a grass is 16 something like that, for those of you who purchased a grass last week, or two weeks ago, whatever it was. Um, the only problem with this ship is its secondaries. You can't treat it as a normal secondary build, um, as a German ship. You have to be careful of that um, and take that in consideration. For torps, something that people do not expect if you have not done your research, but they are 8 kilometers at 65 knots, and that, my friends, is very very damn spicy let me tell you the firing arcs on this bad boy oh oh my lordy yeah you use these torps for offense you don't do that secret hiding around the bushes crap i mean you can and i'll probably end up doing that because <laughs> i'm going to be a massive target but these torps are made for offensive use um for aa you know right now it doesn't mean anything but it's it's average. It is what it is. Um, for right now, you know, for the next year at least, it, until they bring um, carriers in, which they said they're still on the fence about, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, maneuverability, 47 total. That's pretty good, you know. Um, the only negative thing is the 28.5 knots. It is unbelievably slow. <laughs> you know, you're not a, a sneaky Japanese cruiser in here. You, you have to remember, even though you have... Um, you have armor that is better on cruisers themselves. You still don't have that Sharn Horse armor. Um, you're essentially a heavily armored um, cruiser of sorts. So because of that, the speed is pretty bad. <laughs> um, you know, but it is what it is. Concealment standard. Um, but the trick that I've been trying to find out and slash finding out is you kind of want for this to be very successful, at least in what I've done my research on, is to have the detectability as low as you can get it with dispersion, as tight as you can get it. So that's going to be the build that I'm going to try to do personally with the only two commanders that I have. <clears throat> so you saw all that stuff. Um, we're going to do the build, and then we'll see what changes. <clears throat> okay, so secondary traits... Our base trade for the secondary guns is what it is. Okay, so let's go here. Um, also, this is my build. 
what I'm doing as a test. Haven't played with her yet. Um, I'm probably losing people who are going to watch this because they're super bored already, but I just want to put that out there. This is my build. You have to remember the ship has a very specific style of play, but you can always choose to change something. Even I mean, even if you want to do, like, for example, crisscross and gyrating drill bits, you know, you could have the same exact setup. Maybe you could change that, you know. You, you have to remember it's about your gameplay. Like, your mindset is completely different from other players, even if you do want to do a copy and paste scenario. If you do that, you have to play exactly as I play, and it's almost impossible to do based off of how you're, you know, perceiving information in the game, you know, how you're trying to figure situations out so it's all relative so this is just my first i don't know what the hell i'm doing build but okay so you got damage party reload amazing the range fantastic precision fantastic risk risk of catching fire terrible oh my god it's terrible but this is um actually while we're going through this this is my build for uh Gneisenau and uh Turpitz. So we'll go through that really quickly, but there you go. Um, the range, absolutely fantastic. Precision, absolutely fantastic. Risk catching fire, terrible. Um, AP damage, plus 10, fantastic, but it's a battleship. She's a cruiser. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Dispersion of main battery, absolutely fantastic. We're going to put that bad boy on there, but then, you have, then again, you have the rudder shift, you know? And then when you have, you know, a cruiser with the amount of armor it has, it's absolutely terrible. So... Uh, you know, this is going to be a, just as much of a pickle for me as it is for you. Um, range plus three. You can increase concealment oh, man. by using the polish cast as here. inspiration. Ah, uh, yes, that is true. As I scroll down and look at my little uh, comments, increase concealment by using the polish captain as inspiration. <laughs> YouTube actually told me polish captain. <laughs> I'm like, what is the polish captain trade, man? <laughs> Unfortunately, when I started the game, that's when Biscavica was out, and I did not have a chance to purchase it. Which, Wargaming, listen to me. Secretly, tap into my brainwaves right now, and listen to me. I need the Biscavica out, so I can purchase it, and the Kamikaze. Let's go! Um, but yes, um, I forgot the trait that the uh, the Polish dude does. What's his name? Swerky? Swerky? Swarkaliki? Uh, you know, but... Um, I have seen that um, during my research for this as well. Um, yeah, oh, God, the, the inspirations are a separate little beast. But, okay, everyone's going to get pissed because they want to see the damn gameplay. So let's do this as quickly as I can. Um, battleship, that's terrible. We can't use that. So reload time. I don't want to catch fire. So uh, reload time. There you go for damage party. Um, uh, destroyer gun, cruiser and battleship guns. Uh, the traverse speed's already really good, so this is kind of insignificant. Um we might not go to wish here, to be honest with that, because um, that's a massive loss for gyrating drill bits, not being able to have it. Um, marksmanship, shell type switch. That's the other thing about this ship. Shell type switch time is very, very, very important. Um, you need to be extremely cognizant of where you are on the map in terms of your distance between DDs and battleships. Um, example, really quickly, if you're, you, you're, um, you're in a battle with a cruiser, and you sink him, goes, he, you know, hides, you know, whatever, you know, and uh, you have AP loaded and you have a DD come up a few kilometers away from you, um, you're not going to have time to reload. Um, by, that, <laughs> by that point, he's probably going to get torps off, turn around and get his second round of torps off at you from the, um, from the other side. Um, so in that case, you have to keep the shell type you have loaded in because you have to remember it's the Sharn Horse guns, you know, the 11 inches at 20 second reload time and you have six <laughs> if you're broadside you know so um that with um your secondary guns it's not that good so when you're looking at this setup really think about on second thought um i want the dispersion down because i like to think i have good enough aim um, i'll show you my stats right before i go out you know because i'm above average i'm not god <laughs> by any means i'm not terrible but um you know it could be any way with this ship um so we'll do that um we'll do range and amount of hp and uh, yeah we'll do that um they're probably not going to go with this build but um citadel we don't need to worry about that i'm going to try to do this on the fly as quickly as i can but there you go. Norman, God, why aren't you legendary? See, the 2.5% is just insignificant. 
Ah, yes. I have seen multiple Krakens as well with this on Jaweed Benselim. Is that how you say it? Um, that's why I'm very excited for this. I like to think that I know what I'm doing. Um, watched all the videos as I can. And um, I'm terrified. Don't get me wrong. But I am very excited to see uh, what she's going to do. Um, that is for sure. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start with Norman here. We're going to boost him because, I, like I said, I want dispersion and accuracy is first and foremost for me. Um, let's see here. Sheer, what do you even have? Oh, yeah, your control party. Um, I'm going to scroll over. Yeah, Madden, you're cool, but those numbers are still insignificant. Um, Yamamoto. Ooh, the AP shell penetration. Let's... Ooh, oh, wait. Ooh, See, this is unfortunate, because I want detectability, and um, Hipper gives you essentially no detectability, but you need it, so I'm actually going to go with Yamamoto for this build. I'm going to boost it. There you go. Get that crap updated. Now, really quick, I'm just going to go over to Sheer. Try to talk a lot less. Um, oh, God, these are terrible. I need, uh, what's his name, Muller? Mueller? And, uh, and Luchins? He's a, um, he's a cruiser, right? And the, the two I don't have, you know, of course. Oh, God, okay. So we have reload timers catching fire. That's good. Uh, torp speed, that's good, but screw ramming, no. I don't care about HE. Um, so yeah, we'll do the torps. Detectability, negative five. Traverse speed, eh. It's insignificant, 0. 0.9 degrees per second. Um, reload time, eh, shell type, yeah, movement, uh, movement is good. Oh, oh, that's a pickle, can go either way, because I love being offensive, but you have to play the sneaky, oh my god. I have them, emoji, big oh, smile. Oh, man, yeah, <laughs> well, there you go, that's awesome. Okay, um... Maximum movement speed, we'll just go with that. Everyone's going to be freaking out. What the hell are you doing? No! And my dog's next to me. That's another reason why I'm not using the Blue Yeti, because her walking around is going to be stupid loud. <laughs> you guys think I should put the smoke screen on? <laughs> just for kicks, just to see if I could do it? No. Um, rudder shift. Ooh, wow, yes. Range over rudder shift. That's the pickle. Ooh, you know what? No, range is already good, especially for how crappy the dispersion is. Even though it's not that crappy, but we're going to go with rudder shift. Um, engine repair, amount of HP recovered, consume. Ooh, yes, consumable. All right, this is it. Using a destroyer build now. I love it. That's the pickle. Yeah, see, and that's the weird thing. It's technically a destroyer build. But uh, my, uh, my thought process here is the reload time is, you know, definitely not the best for torps, but extra speed. It's a little spicy, but I kind of just... Ugh, the HE is... Ugh. Ugh, that's something to go back on. Um, detectability, I want more than anything else with it. I want to get it as low as I humanly can. Um, uh, torp reload is significant, but insignificant. But moving speed combined with rudder shift is fantastic, especially for how I play the New Orleans. I got her rudder shift down, I think it's 3.9 seconds. So I like being that... Um, I unfortunately like being seen and being an ass where I swerve uh, side to side. So, um, I'm just going to do this at first, see how that goes, and I'm going to put on, uh, what's his name? Come here, man. Where are you, boy? I'm going to put, there we go. Godichi Mikawan. There you go. I'm going to get that, dis um, the detectability down, and then I want, wait, right, but you got Yamamoto still. But see, he's only plus 2.4. It will be interesting. Oh, man. Um, but then you have precision. Yes, precision. Go with precision, damn it! <laughs> so, again, you have to remember, um, with this being Sharn Horse Guns, there's no numbers to back this up, but it has much better dispersion than the Sharn Horse and much worse dispersion <laughs> than cruisers. So... Uh, it's kind of like a weird Frankenstein. God knows what that means, especially since I haven't played it. But So this is my setup right now. Um, I've been talking way too much, um, which is kind of annoying. Everyone's getting pissy. I mean, I would be. Um, so let's see here. Upgrades. Uh, traverse speed, I don't care. In reload time, hell no. <laughs> 20 seconds is more than enough, okay? Secondary, uh, no. So we're going to go with aiming systems mod 1. It's average. It's at least safe. But when your secondary batteries have a default range at, uh, what is it, 4.5 kilometers, uh, no. 
Um, and since Hipper is not an inspiration, like I said, I would, I personally would not do a secondary build on this. The last thing you want, um, your goal is to get destroyers killed or not even be by them or have your teammates destroy destroyers before they even get next to you. So, um, and now here's the pickle between everybody. I usually go with steering gears mod two because of what I already have for the rudder shift time and speed right now with the speed boost and rudder shift. Others would choose damage control mod, but you have to remember with the ship, she has a very low profile in general. The superstructure is very low. Um, her hull is very low to the ground, to the ground. What an idiot. This is what happens when you go live. Low to the water line. Yeah, <laughs> the, the ship is sitting on land, uh, you know. <laughs> Um, and you're going to definitely be a target and I want to do both, obviously. Um, why not all three, <laughs> but, um, oh God, oh God, but you also have an extra heal and this is the only ship that has heals. I mean, I believe it does. I haven't, I didn't look at it yet. Um, it's right here though, right? Yes. Look at that. Oh my God. That's right. It has three heals. Mother of God. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're going with steering gears because if I play like an idiot, no offense, I should probably choose damage control. Or if you're going to be really spicy, then I choose damage control. But I want to be uh, a little ninja, you know, since the ship isn't classified as a ninja and I want to make it one. Okay. <clears throat> so we will add on the, we put the little Sharn horse flag. Look, it's like a little sister. I love it. Can I have the Sharn horse flag on it? Um, wow, I don't have anything. See, this is the pickle between uh, <laughs> not buying the the super sexy package. But um, we're just going to go all out right here. Don't judge me. Because you're going to be like, look at all the bonuses you get. Because you put an epic booster on there. Shh, it's a secret. Credits, that's probably dumb. <laughs> Especially for our first game. Oh, God. But why not? You know, change it up. Okay, so all that crap's done, right? Cheer, you're on there, all that crap, beautiful. Okay, so let's go back real quick for stats. Um, survivability didn't change, artillery, we're up to 15.5, eh, you know, no, it was the same, yeah, 15.5 is the default, um, I believe, maybe I'm talking out of my ass, I don't remember, um, Torps was the same, or wait, no, we got, um, oh, wow, look at that, because I put the Torp speed on there, it was 65, now it's at 69 knots, oh my god, you know how fast that is? Holy crap, that's like Z23 maxed out, man. Reload time, 90. That's terrible, but it, this will be very interesting. Um, a, a, a maneuverability, 30 knots now. That's pretty good. Um, rudder shift down to 7.8. I like that. I, I, it makes it competitive for cruisers, especially if you need to get out of the way and you need to piece the hell out. Um, detectability was at 11.8, I believe. 11.5, now 10.8. Better than nothing. I'll take that, man. Like I said, you want it as low as you can go. Um uh, last thing, um, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to go over to the store and we're going to test our luck real quickly and we're going to get a commander pack and you guys are going to see me get pissed and get my 400th duplicate ever because why not? You know, we all like gambling, right? Tell me if you like gambling. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, look at that. Hey, see, that's live. That's cool. I, uh, Wow. I did not have the fill avion. No, that, that's that sounded like a French guy. Whoops. <laughs> look at that. Well, cool. Anyway, I'm not going to look at him because you guys are getting pissy. And since I have to spend everything, we're going to convert real quick to make me feel better. Just going to do that. Woo! Oh, I love it when it goes out, right? Okay. Okay, kids. I'm terrified. Let's do this. Let's not make it like River Plate. Because that would be bad, and we want to survive, okay? Um, oh, here we go. Oh, mother of God. All right. I want to put it out there that I'm above average. I'm not God. I'm not terrible, but I am terrified. My heart's racing. Um, doing this live is very dumb. Uh, <laughs> very dumb. Um, but I kind of just want to see what happens, you know, and since nobody does it live, it makes it more interesting, you know, because you're going to be watching me and be like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you going that way? Why are you firing there? Why don't you change your shell? You know, so, but I'll try to explain why I'm doing, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing. 
for what I'm doing, why I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's look at this real quick. Uh, okay. Um, wow. Oh, that's not that bad. There's, oh my god, all the destroyers. Okay. Where the hell are we going? Oh, boy. Yeah, we're putting uh, AP on, please. Uh, alpha damage for days, my friends. Okay. Ooh. Look at her butt. Ooh, look at those torp tubes, man. Ooh, look at that. Yo, what's up? You know, she's a little ugly, but she's weirdly beautiful. And I'm... There you go. See, they're going that way, so we're just gonna, you know... Just gonna go over here and hang out with everyone. And I don't like doing this. Um, I'm not a broadside fan, my friends, but there's no way in hell I'm going straight. <laughs> or going to the west by myself, let me tell you. So I'm just gonna try, uh, you know, kind of go over here with my little friends, get behind everybody, you know, because uh, you have to remember, I'm gonna be the biggest damn target on the map because everyone gets pissed off at the quote-unquote wallet warriors, you know? So, yeah. You know, just chilling. Just looking at her. She's nice. See this? Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, baby. Hey, Oba, look at that. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of there real quick. Uh, just gonna turn away. <laughs> I'm terrified to shoot, man. <laughs> Especially, look at that angle. It's terrible. What is that? Like a 30 degree angle? Oh God. Okay. I mean, at least we're angled to all of them right there. But come on, get in range, York. Come on, he's close. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to open up just a little bit. Where are you going, York? You guys are like, why aren't you firing? <laughs> I'm scared, man. It's live, you know? And see, I screwed that one up. But here's the Aoba. I don't think you're going to hit the rocks, but... Yo. Go. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so things like that can happen. <laughs> but, you know, first salvo, you know, is what it is. And I don't like this. I don't like that Mr. Uh, BB over here, uh, Mr. Arizona, no offense, but uh, you kind of like swing around a little bit, baby. Um, you know, kind of knock these guys out, clear the side, you know. But now we got, oh my god, and they're at base. Unbelievable. You guys are going to witness our team get our ass kicked. Look at that. Look how aggressive they're being. See, now I'm opening up Mr. Warspa. Ugh. See, I want to open up and get them getting out of the base. But I do not want to make my broadside be shown. So I'm going to be safe. Come on. What a weird game, man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Who the... Why are you going right into the... You might be AFK, to be honest. What... <laughs> oh, no, he's firing. What are you doing? Are you a destroyer, dude? <laughs> you got... Come on. Like... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, your smoke's on a little bit, so you're either going backwards or you're going super slow. Yeah, he's going backwards. What? I, honest to God, this is weird, man. I don't know what is happening right now. Got a bounce. See him? Oh my God, he's camping. Are you serious? We have an Aoba capping. What is happening this game? <laughs> oh my God, I have no idea what's happening. And of course, you're turning away. God, it's like impossible to aim. And we're at max range. Mr. War Spite, out of range. Yeah, I'm going to go to help out at base. First and foremost, I want to be with my pack, but I'm not letting the base be taken. Especially when I have the ability to be offensive in this ship.
1600 again, 1680. I, I have know. seen battleships capping, MOG man shrugging with light skin tone. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was uh, pretty spicy. Wow. <laughs> okay, I feel better now. Don't look like too much of an idiot. Um, but that's the other thing with this ship. Um, this is not necessarily a big credit earner. Um, you can definitely get very good games. And oh my god, that poor Arizona. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, dude. That was uh, a little brutal. Um, yeah, but, um, what was I saying? I just felt so bad for that Arizona. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely a weird game. Um, I have not played a game like this in quite a long time, uh, with being that gutsy on the other team, uh, being offensive like that, while also trying to figure out a new ship. Um, yeah. I mean, at least they're capping base there, that's good. Play that game. Torpedoes, direct front. See what I'm talking about? I am not going to change my shell. It's a little too close. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Where is there? Yeah, this is not a good game. I mean, <sighs> yeah, we won, but uh, that was definitely probably the worst game to show off what this ship can do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, very average. But, you know, at least it uh, boosts the score. But So really quickly, I'm just going to show you guys, because I don't even think I posted this on uh, Facebook, but just so you know what I'm working with here. But So that's my... Uh, my little win rate, all my little crap right there. Um, and that's why I'm terrified, man. I don't want the ship to be terrible because I would like to keep winning. That would be nice. Um, there's the stats, you know, if you want to look, whatever is what it is. Um, it definitely is killing my uh, damage to ships per game. <laughs> and there's the little medals. Actually, this is amazing for how much I've played. Check this out. I still don't have Solo War solo warrior or witherer especially Witherer. i know there's some people we may not have solo warrior but how do i not have witherer anyway let's go right into the next game here <clears throat> it's god it's so weird it's a very interesting ship you know oh man <clears throat> i like the build though i like the um the turning radius the speed um that definitely helped a lot um because i like to I tend to and like to get in pickly situations, um, especially when you only have six guns to go broadside. But um, just so you guys know really quickly, uh, the Graf Spee has the most significant, insignificant story of um, World War II. Um, and I say that because it really didn't do much um, in terms of history to influence anything. Um, but what it did was um, it was probably the most successful in my opinion if not the most successful uh um ship <clears throat> to cause havoc in this ease um especially for its time um i forgot how many ships it sunk but um you know cruised down to the south atlantic without going to ultra hardcore history lesson um went down to the south atlantic and they just uh terrified everyone and destroyed many 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 merchant ships um Unfortunately, uh, her captain, Mr. Langsdorf, was tricked and um, ended up scuttling his little ship, which all of you crew. all know. Yes. So <laughs> it's a very sad but very significant, very incredible story. Um, I'm going to do more of a review on the ship 
uh, for another video um, in the next few weeks, and I'm going to include all that information and stuff down to the details. But um, yeah, it's um, it's very significant, but <clears throat> it's just it's very interesting. It's kind of sad to be honest. But and actually, um, Captain Langsdorf, um, out of all the ships he sunk, he and his crew, the Graf Spee, did not kill um, anyone on any of the ships that they sunk. They rescued. Um, well, they. I don't, I don't believe they rescued them, but um, I think they sent out distress calls for the British to uh, rescue their crews. But yeah, um, I, I believe nobody died. Um, so he was just doing his job, you know, he was sinking ships. He wasn't being a dick, though. So I like that, you know, especially when it comes to war. <laughs> you don't have to kill everybody to make a point. So, um, yeah. Get Mr. Miyoko over here. See, I like being aggressive over here, um, especially with the DeGrasse, but this is not the DeGrasse, and sometimes I have to smack myself. See, like, look at those torps. You want me to sail right in those and go back to port? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and of course, see, there's the DeGrasse. Torpedoes, direct front. Fighter airborne. See, and there's no reason to use sonar because, you know, everyone who plays this map, you know there's going to be torps right there. Every game, every time. Just wanna... Come on, Mr. Nuremberg. Oh, you're fun to take down. You're like an Omaha man, but in tier five. <laughs> oh, spicy enchilada mix. Please, God, don't do the same to me. All right, that wasn't bad. Um, as long as there's no destroyer there waiting for me. <laughs> oh, ow. Okay, we're just gonna put this down real quick, and we're gonna heal up because you know healing is fun. I'm gonna turn away a little bit here, try to get a 30 degree angle. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, mildly getting my ass handed to me right now, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And of course we missed, but that's okay. That's why it's a test. I have to unfortunately open up here because of the uh, little mountain thing. And of course I'm number one target because everyone's jealous. Beautiful, thank you. I love that. Mr. DeGrasse is trying to be spicy with his little HE on me. You can expect that in about any time. Oh, wow, look at that. You're welcome, team. You guys can do whatever the hell you want because <laughs> I know what you're just getting fired on. <laughs> <clears throat> but I did expect this though um, she's playing exactly as I thought <clears throat> and unfortunately with uh, her shots and damage output it's very low and um, it's unfortunately what I expected not a credit earner but sort of a fun collectible ship but it doesn't mean oh that you can't be good with the ship um, she's much more than that um, she can hold her own, but she's not going to be a DeGrasse or an Atlanta where you're like, Mom, I need to print credits on toilet paper all day. It ain't going to be like that. Um, but for changing it up, it is fun. It's very fun. Um, she is intimidating. She feels like she has that fun bulk um, of a very heavy cruiser. And she is, essentially. Um, but... It's just... It's one of those ships you have to be very careful with. She actually reminds me, for those of you who have the kid... Um, even though the kid is a uh, destroyer, um, it sort of has the same uh, mindset, I guess, where you're very powerful, but you're very susceptible, susceptible to a lot of damage very quickly. Um, yeah, so we're just going to... do that we're gonna a little do a little spin around try to go back to home base so I can keep this bad boy alive as long as possible yeah you know okay gonna try and get out of here not running and hiding but we are kind of running and hiding <laughs> just went away from my last heal to uh <clears throat> to be ready here Oh, but that New Mexico. I 
right, good. I'm glad he kind of disappeared there because I have a tendency of not being safe and firing when it's a juicy broadside. Because you never know. Sometimes, <clears throat> oh, pardon me, sometimes you can pierce um, with these shells from the research I've done. But I do not want to give that a test right now, <laughs> especially being alone. <clears throat> the other sad thing is I made coffee like 30 minutes ago and I haven't had a damn sip and I have to have my coffee. So now I'm going to be sitting here, you know, just sailing <sighs> to the east with cold coffee. Fantastic. Because, Tactical um, retreat. Yes, thank you. Tactical retreat. <laughs> See, that's the thing where uh, how I've gotten better is I'm actually listening to my instincts um, when you don't want to. Um, because your instincts... It's kind of like um, like when you're just a human in general. You have your instinct of survival. And um, it's sort of the same with this, even though it's a war game of pixelated warships. <laughs> but it's still, it's, it's, it's essentially the same concept, you know. Um, and plus, I don't want to get my ass kicked and have you guys be like, wow, this was, wow. And we just wasted all this time. <laughs> so, but um, I'm not going to do anything for a second and hopefully not get spotted and take a sip of my coffee because coffee's good. Oh, yummy. Yes. All right. All right, no one see me. I'm just chilling. Going back to my team. I mean, we do technically have an advantage. Um, the only problem is there. We are, I mean, God, I always get my damn west and east mixed up. God. Yeah, we're, we're coming, guy. Okay, relax. And this sucks. Actually, where I'm at, I'm going to be in range soon. For the New Mexico, and if I'm at a 30 degree angle, it's just going to take me to the edge of the map, and I don't like that. So I'm going to say, request help, please, mom. I do not like this pickle because I'm only going to get a few shots off by the time he sees me, and I want to go broadside to hurry up and get over there as quickly as I can. But that's a death wish. But his guns are pointed towards Cap. But he would only have to open. Oh. Yes, keep if turning. You compare it to the hipper. What will be your appreciation? Ooh, let's see here. Oh god, I feel bad. I actually I sold my hipper. <laughs> oh, it was bad. Uh, I I love the hipper, um, but I unfortunately sold it just so I could not spend more money um, in boost by the time Bismarck got here. Um, but the, honest to god, this actually feels like um, it feels like a really spicy hipper, um, just with less guns, obviously. Um, spicy because you get the Sharn horse guns. You you literally feel like a badass. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you feel like a hard ass. And oh my god, there's a destroyer. He's just going to swing around and smack us. And I'm spotted. Oh my god. Okay, so we're just going to... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. I don't like that. Oh god. Okay. Now we got to be tactical and spicy here. Shit. Oops, this is live. My bad. <laughs> I cuss a lot, but uh, I gotta be careful here. Open up just a little bit. Just a little bit to get that off. Wow! Mama! Mama, I'm coming home! <laughs> oh, God. Where's that next shell coming through? Okay, we're gonna see if we can catch on fire here. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Problem solved, sir. See, and that's the pickle, man. The damage output is not that good. I mean, she is good. She's a good ship. Um, and obviously you have to really take in consideration, you know, play style, butterflies playing for the first time, being a massive target, because everyone's like, oh yes, oh yes, I must destroy you. <laughs> you know, that sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, people can do that, and I have no problem. Um, but it's going to take some time History for everyone. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah. So there you go, 38,700. Uh, you know, it is what it is. But, so I'm going to back out here. I've been going for a while here. I'm actually going to, I'm going to call it, um, 
I'm going to call it here at this game and do a little bit more practice with it. But I'm going to do a little, uh, little end of the, a little end speech, I guess. Okay. She does look cool in the lineup of all the German ships. I love it. And then you got Porta Grasse over here, <laughs> all alone. Okay. Can I check out your stats while you're in battle? Right? Yes. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this. Um, the ship is incredible for having sonar. The sonar, the, Jesus, the sonar is epic. Um, in being able to get three of them, we're three, um, we're three uh, fighters. A tier five is awesome. I know three it's, against it's one normal. Against the real one. <laughs> yes, yeah, three against one. Uh, you know, is a little terrifying. Um, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, you gotta take that in consideration of, uh, you know, just the play style right now. But um, yeah, so um, the biggest asset is the repair party right here. You're the only cruiser in the game that has a repair party. Um, and then depending on your uh, your commander and being able to get a plus one for the repair for your consumable is amazing this is epic as time goes on i cannot stress this enough as time goes on and people get used to the graf Spee, um and they forget about it um this is going to be legendary this is literally going to save your ass in games um for me it's a little different um especially for that last game it definitely helped it helped me survive a little bit longer but um do not underestimate this and you need to realize so the importance of it dying. um as of now, I would wait. Okay, if I had to say it now, it's worth buying. However, if you are easily frustrated and you do not want to wait the time that it takes for the people to cool down and make you a target, don't buy it. If you love it because you're a premium nerd like me, you're a stupid World War II nerd like me. If you're a super, super stupid, insane German, uh, nerd like me, especially, uh, you know, Germany in World War II, definitely buy it. I'm actually looking at the reason why I'm glad I bought this. I'm actually looking forward to taking the time out to figure her out. I think that is fun because most of the ships, you know, I know eh, they're not, I don't know them all inside out, but I know them pretty well. And this is a very, very specific ship. And I love very unique ships that do very specific things. And she is it. Um, you need to be in a wolf pack. Um, if you're not, you need to play like an Atlanta. You need to be behind islands. Um, there's times where you can push out and be super spicy and attack with your torps. Super, um, super, super. Yes. <laughs> Ultra, super, 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 super. Um, but the ship is totally worth it. It really is. Um, especially when you have, and like, I don't have um, um, uh, essentially cruiser commanders um, for Germany. And and for what I have now, the setup I have, it's it's very easy to play her in, um, in my book, um, especially for having the rudder shifts and, and such like that and speed. But um, yeah, you got Mueller and, and Luchins, and I mean, there you go. His default is cruisers, main gun, AP shell damage. Like, that's amazing. And you have all of the, you know, like, ingenious here, burn it down. I mean, all, all of these combinations... These are insanely epic, and this would be a literally completely different um, play style games with even even just Luchins over, um, you know, by, you know, legendary two level 16 hipper, you know, or legendary one level 12 sheer. Um, you know, it will be completely different since they're so honed in and specialized for cruisers. Um, so it's another massive thing you have taken consideration, especially here with with Mueller two Muller. I don't know. I mean, I did bad in English in high school, man. That's why I'm a photographer for a living. I can't. My English is terrible. So <clears throat> however you say his name, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but, I mean, look at these traits. Um, it's absolutely epic. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. For having him as well. So if you... Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, if you want... I mean, if you have either of the two of these guys... And you have the spay, or you want to get it, or even if you're on the fence, these guys are gonna are gonna boost the crap out of it for you. Um, but it's definitely worth it. Um, at ten thousand doubloons for US, that's uh, the equivalent of like thirty five dollars, but you have to buy the forty dollar package. Um, it's um, if you, if you have the change, do it. Definitely worth it. Um, 
And if you want to have fun with a new ship with a very specialized yes, ship, do it. Or legend to use it at its max <clears throat> potential. Exactly. Yep. That's, and that's exactly why I was so afraid to actually play it today. It was one of the, the main reasons because I'm like, I don't have a specialized <laughs> commander yet, you know. And I've bought, you know, you can see all the legendary, you know, guys I got, and I'm like, how do I still not have the German dudes and even Ciliacs? I have to play. Uh, Sharnhorst, you know, Turpitz, Gneiss and I without Ciliacs, and it's, ah, it's brutal. But um, I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Um, it's just a mini review, you know, just to see what it's like right off the bat. Um, actually, I'm going to check that service record to see that glass game that just ended. But that's still pretty good, though. I mean, 195,000 credits for only 38,000 damage, and I mean... And that's brutal for me. Like, I mean, as you saw, the average is, I think I get like 51,000 damage a game. So that makes me sad. It honestly makes me feel like, uh, kind of like an ass. It happened to but, me with the turpits. But, you know, and I mean, that's pretty bad, though, when you come in second place on your team with, with no kills. So it just goes to show you how lopsided that game was, at least. I mean, <clears throat> you know, these last guys... Not that they're bad. I mean, no, I don't believe people are, you know, like really bad or good at the game. I mean, there's there's so many factors that contribute. But I mean, you can see everybody on their team has over a thousand um, XP on their side, and you know, we get the lowers over here. But you know, there's just a weird game, and you can see while playing it. You know, not trying to make excuses, obviously, but um, team play is very, um, especially for this ship. I'd say team play is unbelievably important, unbelievably important. And that mentions um, when you're talking about the hipper. Um, in, um, for me, you need to be in a wolf pack, essentially. Um, or you need to play like an Atlanta, and you need to be sneaky sneaky um, for you to be successful with this um, at its maximum potential um, and with having um, either Luchins or, or Muller. Um, but it's a good ship. Totally worth it. Um, in the next few weeks, when Thank I get you, and the... Thank you, uh... courage to play it live. <clears throat> yeah, so, it was very scary. I'm still scared. <laughs> and I know playing it and learning it, my uh, my stats are going to go down. Not necessarily from losing, but, you know, just... Uh, I want the... I've been working so hard to get the uh, the damage output up. But, um, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. It's worth it. I highly recommend it. But... Um, if anybody uh, wants to play, if anybody here is PS4 and buys it, or who has it, add me on uh, PlayStation at uh, Stig007. Don't forget the little uh, little dash thing, the little underscore. There you go. But um, <clears throat> like I said, in the next uh, week or two, I'm going to be doing a, a full review on this um, to start boosting the channel once I have more specifics on it, especially for um, different commander builds and such. Um, because like I said, you know, it's so important you know, and so different for even having the same guy and choosing different traits but um and then even with that um with that review i'm going to be talking about historical things as well um i just wanted to do a quick little review on that but you know um dates and times and the significance of the ship for those of you who don't know um and for those of you who want to find out check out uh what is it no zoop for you mighty jingles um who else uh Nonser does one uh my chase gaming um for uh, World of Warships online or PC, um, you can check them out too. But I want to give my own little spicy review because why not? You know, it makes it fun. But um, yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I highly recommend that you guys check her out. But yeah, have a good day, everybody, and uh, hit me up, or whatever, and you know, this is what it is. Have